Roger, not a lot of retailers raising guidance in this environment. What's working for you? Uh, thanks, sir. Good to, good to see you again. You know, for us, the big thing has been the shift we've made into our own brands, really being able to make and design and source our own goods. And, you know, that piece of so that segment of our business was up over 40 percent to last year. So that's been a huge win. And then the kids addition to our portfolio, which we did a couple of years ago, has been uh, just been fantastic. And and uh, we're, we're driving comp sales with uh, the addition of a whole new category for our consumer. Does it does it have to do with where you sit in the in the value chain? Because we've heard a lot about trading down in these in these quarterly results. What is your consumer? What what is the profile and what does it say about the environment? You know, our consumer. What, what's a little bit different? Most folks don't really comprehend this as it relates to our DSW brand. But our, the average household income of the DSW customer is over hundred thousand dollars. So. They really haven't felt the same kind of impact of this inflation that, that perhaps other consumers have. So you know, we've been able to navigate, I think, a little different than others. But, you know, our everyday value proposition that we have with some of the brands that we own and control and, and provide value to the customer. And then you add into that some investments we made in clearance inventory, uh, which we wanted to win back some consumers that were looking for value. And we were able to add back in the quarter about two million consumers that uh, were coming to us just simply for, for the value proposition. So uh, again, I think as we've tried to navigate this, it's just being very, very nimble and uh, every day seems to be a different challenge, but our team has done a great job in facing those challenges. Who are you taking share from? Department stores? It's, I think it's a combination, frankly. Uh, a, a big piece of it has been in the athletic space. We. Uh, uh, actually, right before the pandemic, uh, started investing heavily in the athleisure uh, area, and, and we've grown our, our market share penetration there in a pretty material way. We've always been historically known for fashion brands, and uh, we felt like we were losing that consumer. They were going elsewhere to buy their athletic shoes. And uh, by layering in additional athletic brands, like the amazing results we've had with Adidas, Puma, uh, new balance, uh, you name it in that athletic space, we, we, we've really added significant share there. Roger, an in interesting stock story and, and successful one this year amid a sea of red in retail. Appreciate you coming on to talk about it. Well, thanks, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Designer brand CEO. We're going to talk more about retail tomorrow.